All right, so now that we're done with our repo sync and we've got all of our projects that we've downloaded, there's still one other thing that we need, and that's going to be our vendor file. So let's take a look here. If we uh, go to our vendor folder, we see we have AOKP, CMSDK, a couple of things there, but we don't have the Samsung file with, uh, you know, with the vendor file specific for the KLTE Verizon phone. So uh, you'll notice in here, there's this extract, uh, extract, extract files shell. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually go to the um, device common, KLTE common folder and run its extract files shell. So we can take a look at that. KLTE common extract files shell, open with get it. So if you have, if you have your phone set, um, with ADB on, uh, you can actually run this script on your phone and it'll go in and it starts pulling out the binaries out of your Android build and saving them to your uh, to your path or your file system. Uh, notice here, it's saving it to vendor CM and, and we of course um, are not, or rather it's not saving it, it's using the vendor CM and we are using AOKP so we would have to find that and make sure that that's pointing to the right place. Vendor AOKP. And we have build tools uh, and then the extract utils. So we open that with we'll edit. So it's gonna go through the phone and it's going to download all of the, the vendor files that you need, these binaries that have been pre-compiled, that their source code's not open typically, and that uh, that you can't, um, you know, you can't utilize. So you wanna change that from CM to AOKP or if it was lineage to AOKP or SLIM or whatever the case may be, have to make sure that's set properly. Um, now this is this is a typical way to get your uh, vendor files if you need them for the first time. Um, we looked at earlier getting our vendor files from uh, the Muppets. Um, kind of just scrolling through here, you can see, you know, like if it's going to be pulling through ADB, you need that ADB enabled, and it's going to go and find the common proprietary files. Dot text. It's going to read that file and say, I need to extract the blob. And a blob is a binary large object. And so, uh, you know, as it starts pulling out these different blobs and binaries and uh, proprietary uh, things that make, make the cell phone work, drivers for things like the, the screen or the GPS or the or that sort of thing. Um, those, those are things that you absolutely have to have for the phone to function when you're done creating the build. Interestingly, without them, you can actually build and it, it'll work. So here's an example of that common proprietary files.txt. You can see um, for the audio here, uh, for the camera, for different things. So we'll jump back over to the extract utilities here. Um, but just essentially these scripts are setting a bunch of flags and getting things ready and saying this is the files we need. And then the utils uh, script is actually pulling those files and downloading them uh, from your phone or tablet or Android device and putting it um, onto your, into your um, build tree here, your repository. Uh, we, we've looked at uh, before getting these from, um, you know, from the Muppets uh, or from GitHub or people that have already pulled them. 
<clears throat> and this is how they told them this is this is what they used to do it um just kind of scrolling through here polling in this manner doesn't necessar necessarily mean you get the stuff that you need uh you only get the stuff that the the files specifically are pulling and so you may have to uh edit it and that's what people do is edit it to add um more stuff that they need it to pull off the phone for it to work properly. Um, but typically, uh, like I mentioned before, and like we did in Lollipop and, and Marshmallow, is we just download those uh, download those binaries, those proprietary vendor blobs. And I, I recommend the Muppets uh, on GitHub. These guys are great. They do a wonderful job of uh, pulling this information. A lot of people have worked together to, to bring this together and uh, definitely a uh, worthwhile place to come and get what you need. So here we have the proprietary vendor Samsung and you know we're going to build for the KLTEBZW, the Verizon variant of the KLTE. And we look down here and sure enough, there it is. So this is uh, the repository that we need with the files that we need. Uh, there is a branch for CyanogenMod 14.1, which is perfect because we're building for Nugget. Um, and uh, and we would go ahead and um, copy this and add this to our local manifest. Uh, again, this is pretty much what we uh, what we did all in the last uh, couple of videos here. We'll just copy this here for a second and make a new line. Um, for instance, when we, we, when we were building Marshmallow with PacROM, it specifically, uh, using that build script, created this file with everything that was needed for the device we wanted to build in it, which was pretty handy. And that's why things like that are really neat and, uh, and useful tools. Um, but I do want to show you here we are doing it manually because now you know how it works and how you can do it yourself, especially when you're adding something new, a new device uh, that you want to build for that hasn't been built for for this ROM. So again, we got to do our uh, repo sync, and this is going to take us a few a few moments here. Maybe we can poke around while we're waiting. Um, pulling it from your phone, uh, like I said, you don't always necessarily get everything you need. Uh, you only get what the scripts were designed to pull. And uh, that's not always necessarily the things that you, you need going forward. Um, a lot of times when you're adding a, a brand new device, like maybe you want to build a new like maybe we'll say for this Verizon variant that they never built Nugget for it and we want to build Nugget and it's still stuck at Marshmallow. Well, you could pull the Marshmallow um, vendor files and maybe that's the latest ones that ever were built. And so now you kind of have to start piecing together uh, different uh, vendor files from different vendors to try to fill in the missing pieces to make it work with Nugget. So it actually, it's, it's quite complicated sometimes. Um, takes a lot of log cats, a lot of pulling information and, and working there. So uh, here we are, we're just still waiting for that repo sync to, um, to finish. Uh, let's see. So if we go to our KLTE Verizon folder. Uh, we can just run that from the terminal. I just want to show you here how you would how you would do that. Um, you may you may want to do it as the super user. Um, sometimes it'll balk about permissions and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, uh, typically you can just run it as a regular user. 
So just wanted to show you that, you know, that's how you run that script. You just open it up and it's 